Yo, get the fuck out of here, man. 3,000 hours spo- Okay. Alright. Hey, what's good everyone? I'm Og, and in this video, we're gonna take a look to see if you should play Rust. So, what is Rust? Well, it's a sandbox survival that contains many elements. Do you enjoy sleep deprivation? Do you enjoy not having a life? Do you love being called the N-word by 12 year olds? How about raging more than a League of Legends player? Well then, Rust is the game for you. Rust is kind of like life. When you go to sleep in real life, you also go to sleep in game. So, when you're homeless in real life, there's a chance that some naked guy might bash your head in with a rock. Gameplay. The gameplay in Rust has always been quite smooth. The graphics are really good and the controls are very fluid. However, the game itself is very difficult, whether it's trying to build a base, collect resources, gather components, or just casually walk around your own base, you'll most likely be killed. So what's it like starting off in Rust for a new player? Well, it's like this. Wake up, rocked. Gather resource, popped. Craft a weapon, robbed. Your mom, fuck! Rust is one of the most hardcore games out there. Whether you live in a vault with 18 steel doors or a wooden shack with no doors, you're still most likely to get raided the minute you get offline. Pretty much, Rust is a game where you either go around by yourself or with friends trying to progress while facing other players and NPCs. The more you screw someone over, the more likely you are to progress. Content There's a lot of content in Rust, whether it's from different variety of weapons to their thousands of skins, Rust has a large pool of items for players to select from. Bored of your mix and match hoodie with road signs as armor? Well, thanks to skins, you can now look like Santa, Moo Moo Samurai, Fish, Ninja, Kel, and whatever else. Now, speaking of skins, I don't mean to brag, but I got at least four different furnace skins. And I may not know much about women, but if there's one thing I know about the ladies is that they love foreskin. Like, tell me this isn't hot, ladies. Tell me that this doesn't just melt your heart away. Tell me that I'm not just a full-grown man sitting in my mom's attic, editing videos, and playing Rust, wasting my life away while constantly qu activity. So, aside from the giant variety of skins, Rust offers players a lot of activities as well, depending on preference. Do you enjoy exploration? Gambling? What about jumping puzzles? Electrical engineering? Farming? And many more. Community. Second to League of Legends, Rust can be very toxic. While there are chat restrictions on a lot of servers, there's not much to stop players from screaming into their microphones. Sir. Sir. I, I just want to let you know to not mess with me. My divas are coming out. Well, aside from killing them. And muting. But, you know. Progression. Starting off in Rust is quite difficult because you're essentially risking everything you got at all times until you get a base. Not only do you wake up naked on a beach with nothing but a rock, you'll have to constantly avoid other naked people with rocks and sometimes even weapons. So once you've managed to get off the beach of Frenzy Nudist, your goal is to collect resources to either defend yourself or build a base. After you manage to get your base, your next step is to gather resources and components to upgrade. And finally, once you've researched enough blueprints for better equipment, that's when the endgame starts of raiding other players. However, raiding is very risky. Not only will you have to worry about losing your hours of farm to the defending player, you also need to worry about counter raiders. Seriously, Rust is absolutely brutal, and the risks involved are so great that it pretty much encourages players to raid offline. So yeah, have fun raiding your neighbors at 4 in the morning. Who needs sleep when you got sleep deprivation, right? Enjoyment. When you're playing Rust, enjoyment can go two ways. Sometimes it'll feel like shoving a screwdriver down your dick, or for the ladies, getting your clitter scorched by a welding torch. So why is that? Well, Rust is extremely addictive. Not only is there a ton of replayability, but the feeling of destroying someone else and taking everything they have is euphoric. Imagine taking a piss after holding it for about two hours while simultaneously taking off your boots after a 20 mile hike. Imagine your Chinese parents actually treated you like their son or daughter instead of an investment for old age. Imagine punching those League of Legends point is, succeeding in Rust can feel amazing, but at the same time, getting raided or losing everything you have can really bring you down. So should you play Rust? Yes, it's addicting, it is fun, you'll get shot up as you run, with little kids on the mic screaming shit like- Fuck your mother, you check off, fuck your mother, fuck